Hi, good evening everyone. I am Cindy Cole. I'm a sculptor, a potter, and a coffee enthusiast. This picture is my grandmother when she was 17 years old. So when I was 17, she had a dream for me. She said, she said to my father, I will be working with soil. It got my father really worried because you see, I'm born in the, I'm born in the year of the ox. So you put two together, it means I'm going to be working the so I mean, <laughs> working the fields. And he was very worried because that was not what he wanted me to do, working under the hot sun. So he said, don't worry about it, you know, go to university and do a business degree. This is my best friend then, she is Susan. She's the one who introduced me to pottery in uni. We went to the University of Evansville together. And during the first semester, we partied a lot, a lot. As in, she would miss out on, she would miss out on a lot of pottery homework. <coughs> then she would sneak me in to the pottery studio and help her with the homeworks. So I loved it. Then the next semester, I got myself enrolled in pottery classes, well, ceramic classes. I enjoyed it very much, and that was my journey. That was the beginning of my journey in pottery. The pixels are... Bad things happen! <laughs> oh, I get to start again! <laughs> we may have to just okay, jump this can just, yeah, we yeah. can just... Yeah. Alright. So, well, then I continued taking pottery classes every semester and then one day Susan said to me, do you know you can change your major? I go, really? I can? I ran to my professor and I asked him, can I change my major? And he says, of course you can. So he helped me and I ended up with the Bachelor's of Science in Ceramics. Then coming home, well, coming home, I told my mother, I said, mom, I have a dream. I want to open a pottery studio and I want to teach people how to do pottery and I want to make work and I want to do gallery exhibitions. So that's my new dream. My dream. So my mom says, no you're not. Times are bad now, that was 97 and she says Malaysia is going to be in a recession soon. You better go get a job. So I did. I started working for Domino's. <laughs> I, I'm a dough specialist, a pizza dough specialist, and I make dough every day. I even formulated one that uh, is used by my uncle's restaurant. It's a quick frozen dough, but it was not the same. So I went to my mom and I said, Mom, can you lend me 30,000 30, ringgit and give me three years? If I can't make it work, I'm going to take two jobs, spread my dream, and I'm going to repay you. And finally she says, okay. Oh. Uh, this is a picture of the, the front of my studio. My studio is called Clay Expression Enterprise. I established it in year 2000. And uh, just a couple months ago, we celebrated our 17 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. So do. <laughs> what we do in our studio is help students transform their creative energies into beautiful form of work in play. So we are development, skill development center. And this is Mr. Lau, he has been with us for many years. He is a hand builder. What is a hand builder? A person who uses just hands and clay and a pottery making technique to make work. So he sells his work in his shop. And this is all he does. Oh, it's a beautiful picture, a plate. It's a collaboration between a chef, my studio, and a food photographer. And I'm sure you can imagine the salmon on it with the blue flowers all lined up really pretty and beautiful to the palette. So that's what we do, we customize work. This is also a very beautiful piece, it's hand pinched and it's made by a Danish lady who was uh, the ambassador's wife. She was with us for four years during her stay here in Malaysia. 
and she would make her work and sell them in galleries. And also, this is how she enjoyed herself. The exciting part, my new hobby, which I uh, discovered two years back. So because I was on a diet, I found coffee. And not only did I find coffee, I also found that I could make coffee brewers to brew my own coffee. Then I realized that making different types of coffee brewers with different designs inside, I could bring out the different flavors and profile of just single coffee. Then, so I made different designs and uh, I could explore and experiment. That is what I like to do. And part of the, my coffee project, it got expensive because coffee is expensive. Then I decided to make coffee brewing sets. Then I sold them because I had the idea that my hobby should fund itself. <laughs> I shouldn't be paying for it. I should just enjoy it because it's my hobby, right? So I made them in limited edition and I sold them. Then one day my friend came to me and said, would you like to buy Zumba tickets? I said, Zumba tickets? Yeah, because we buy Zumba tickets, you can help fund children, um, give them food to school so that they won't be hungry when they're at school. So I decided that I would make these and I sell them and I found I funded one child to school for the whole year this year. So my hobby now funds a child to school. Then part of my project, coffee project, I also joined competitions where I would make my cups, make my brewers, make my stand and present my coffee in front of three judges. So I was uh, ranked number seven last year in the nation. Wow. I would like to say that pottery has brought me a long way and I still feel that this is still a dream to me. Thank you.